Hi there, uh, a very good morning to all of you. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, today I'm responding to one of the questions raised by Shruti. Uh, and her question was, how does blockchain play a role in product recalls in the pharmaceutical industry? Uh, thanks a lot for the question. It's a very interesting question. Um, I have given a bit of thought about it. And I think blockchain is a very relevant technology uh, on to address the product recalls. And uh, it is my understanding that uh, major companies like Walmart in the US are already considering um, using blockchain for product, food safety and food recall. So let's have a look into how actually this would work. So I have already done a video uh, where I talk about manufacturing supply chain and pharmaceutical industry is is a subset of um, uh, of manufacturing industry so the ideas that i have shared there would apply here uh, but again i will briefly uh, explain the supply chain pharmaceutical supply chain and then look into how uh, uh, how the uh, product recalls play uh, 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 would be uh, streamlined using blockchain Le okay so let's start the first step within the pharmaceutical supply chain would be the chemical suppliers who sub who supply the uh, ingredients that are necessary or that are required to build uh, to to make or manufacture a drug so the first point of data collection in the pharma industry would be uh, this uh, would be these first tier suppliers who supply these uh, raw raw materials to the pharmaceutical industry or the pharmaceutical plant the second step would be when this arrives at the pharmaceutical plant where these would then be processed and manufactured into tablets, syrups, syringes, whatever uh, whatever it might be. The next step uh, would be when these products are ready, uh, they are packed and then they are shipped uh, out to, uh, to the wholesalers and from wholesalers it go to the retailers and then to the end consumer. So when a company has to do a product recall, it could be for several reasons. And one of the important, especially in the pharmaceutical industry, it would be the case because the drug is unfit for its purpose and it may have some adverse reactions to, uh, to the patients. Or it could be any other reason uh, why that the company wants to uh, do a recall. It could be the product was uh, one of the batch was contaminated or something of that sort. So now once the company decides to uh, recall, uh, in the traditional way what would have happened is the company has to recall the entire batch probably uh, or the entire or the complete uh, product not even just a batch because uh, without the specific trackable information about which batch was contaminated it is very difficult to isolate and then uh, withdraw the product from the market. <clears throat> Now let us see the scenario in which blockchain is implemented. If the blockchain is implemented, companies would have the exact information, traceability and trackability information available to know which brand, which batch was uh, contaminated or needs to be recalled. They would have an exact details of where that particular uh, uh, batch products were sent to to which wholesaler to which retailer and if even if the consumer has actually purchased the product it is possible to track down that individual customer either through their GPs or their doctors or through the hospitals or or wherever that actual medicine is dispensed so having that level of uh, information tra traceability information to uh, the companies it is it becomes uh, realistic and practical to uh, to achieve a product recall at the best possible uh, best possible rates uh, to avoid any further uh, any further uh, repercussions based on uh, based on this. So uh, I hope I have answered your question um, in a brief and second manner. If you have any further questions, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.